Hi, I'm Amy Corvo from the Fashion Design Program at Greater New Bedford Regional Vocational Technical High School. During these difficult times, we must stay safe and all do our part. For those of you who are interested in sewing, I'm going to demonstrate how you can make your own cloth face mask to help protect yourself, your family, and your friends. To begin this project, you first need to gather all your materials. You're gonna need fabric, thread, elastic, shears, a tape measure, and pins. The fabric that I chose to use for this was a 100% cotton fabric. You can use a print, you can use a solid, but it should be a tightly woven material. Next, I got my elastic. For this project, I used a one quarter inch elastic. For the first step, you'll need to cut out your material. For an adult, you'll need two pieces of fabric, nine inches by six and a half inches. For a teen or smaller adult, you'll need two pieces of fabric, eight inches by six inches. Next, I cut my elastic into a 15 inch piece and then I cut it in half so you have two pieces. Once your sewing machine is ready, the first step you need to do is to base your elastic onto one piece of your fabric. If you're using a print, you want to make sure that you are pinning and basting your elastic to the right side of the fabric. So a half inch from each edge on the narrow side of the fabric, you want to baste your elastic at a quarter an inch and then you're going to repeat this on the opposite side as well. Once you have your two elastics in place, you're going to take your two pieces of fabric and place them together with right sides together. If you're not using a print, then it doesn't really matter on your solid as long as your elastic is sandwiched in between the two pieces of fabric. Once I have the fabric pieces placed together, one on top of the other, I'm going to sew the two layers together using a one quarter inch seam allowance. I start at the top edge about an inch over. Make sure you reverse at the beginning when you get to the corners, you're going to pivot, so all the way around, and come over an inch on the top edge as well. Then you need to clip your corners. This helps to get a sharp point on the outside when you turn the fabric right side out. So once you clip your corners, you can go ahead and turn your fabric right side out. Now you should have it sewn on three sides and an opening on the top. To close that opening, you're gonna fold in your seam allowance and edge stitch the edges together all along the top. Now you should have a sewn rectangle with your elastic pieces sticking out on both sides. We have to make the pleats next in order to make the face mask smaller and contour to the face. So in order to create the pleats, I fold it over a half inch on the edge in three places and pin them in place. Once they're pinned in place, you can go ahead and sew over I used the top stitching, a quarter inch seam allowance, and sewed all the way from the top and the bottom, making sure I reverse stitched at the top and the bottom.
Thank you for watching my video on how to make your own cloth face mask to help protect yourself, your family, and your friends. From myself and everyone at New Bedford Vogue Tech, we're thinking of you and we will get through this together. Stay safe.